all right guys so let's go and make our view a little bit more cleaner actually we are going to use the functionality of EJS that is including other templates so first of all what I'm gonna do is in my views folder I'm gonna right click and create a new folder and I will name it partials okay and I will uh, take out different groups of code like we have a header right here we have this main content we have this nav bar uh, we have this main content we have this sidebar so let's first create a new template within this partials folder and right click and new file and i'm going to name it main content dot ejs and in my index.ejs this is the main content and i'm going to copy it and paste it right here let's save it and inside it i'm going to include that particular partial called main content.ejs and in order to include it i will use the syntax provided by ejs and that is less than sign percentage include partials forward slash and the name of file and that is main content dot ejs and i will end it with percentage sign and greater than okay make sure you save both the things and let's go to our browser and reload it and you can see main content is loading it means that our inclusion of this particular partial is being loading successfully now i want to include other things as well let's create a one more file for the nav bar and i'm going to paste this much code in that nav bar so let's right click the partials and create a new file and i will name it navbar.ejs and from the index.ejs i'm going to cut this code and paste it right here okay and inside it uh, let's copy this line and paste it and i'm going to change the name of my file and i will name it navbar let's save it let's go to our browser and reload it or navbar is loading so uh, let's say i want to put this header in my header dot ejs so header dot ejs and from the index let's cut it and paste it and in my index i'm going to load up the header all right let's save it let's go and reload our header is being loaded it means that our uh, title is being shown right here sportsman dash welcome uh, let's go back and now the last thing I want to do is this sidebar okay let's right click partials new file and I'm going to name it sidebar.ejs so let's cut this bunch of code and paste it right here and in my index let's copy it and paste it and i will name it sidebar okay so let's save it let's go to our browser and reload you can see our sidebar gallery is being shown so you can see that this is uh, something looking more cleaner if i remove some spaces okay so this is looking more cleaner because we know that all the code for the navbar is inside the navbar.ejs all the code for main content is inside uh, that main content.ejs and same for the sidebar and the header we can create multiple things as well we can put the whole body uh, code in a separate uh, ejs file and in that particular ejs file we are going to include these things okay and in that case we need to navigate back to the partials folder okay uh, but for now that's pretty much good 
uh, now uh, we are done with our home page because uh, from our view we are loading up our index if i go to index we can see that we are loading up index view now in order to load our people's view right here uh, we need to create that particular view as well so i'm going to just i'm going to right click index.ejs and copy and view right click and paste okay and i'm going to change the name of it peoples.ejs okay so we have the same particular code for the people and for the index.ejs okay but uh, if i go to reload page and click on the people you can see that the same page is being loaded the reason is that uh, from our index dot uh, js file we are only loading up the index uh, route index view from this uh, slash route what we are going to do is from our routes and inside it we have the people dot js what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, write the same code from the index i'm going to copy this code and in my people.js file i'm going to paste it instead let me comment it first and paste it right here okay and from here i'm going to load up the people view that i have just created people's actually this is not people this is peoples.ejs okay we have the images we have the gallery dot image and now let's go to our browser and we can see that uh, there is uh, it is loading if we go to home page it is loading the same page if we go to the people's route it is loading the same page okay uh, what we want to do now is to rather than loading up uh, this sportsman uh, dash welcome content here we want to load up the people okay so uh, if i let's let me just remove these files okay we have the people.ejs files so this is where our main content is being loaded and in our peoples.ejs file rather than loading up the main content we need to load up the peoples.ejs file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click partials and create a new file peoples.ejs okay and if i go to the people right here and let me copy this and i'm going to paste it let me just remove it <clears throat> okay and from the people.ejs files i'm going to change the name of it and that is peoples.ejs all right uh, right now it won't show anything because i haven't sent anything that is uh, related to item or anything inside that particular item if i go to my people.ejs we know that we navigated to the uh, we iterated through all the people using this for each loop and that showed us all the content of that people so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to uh, get the data as well for the people so let's create a variable peoples equals to request dot app dot get and data okay and let me change the name of variable and rather than uh, along with the welcome message and images i'm going to send out the peoples so the data dot people and the data dot people is an array within the json file okay this is the json file and that is an array of objects and each object represent one person okay so from our people.js file we are sending out 
peoples as a key and that contains the people okay so i'm going to copy this code and inside it i'm going to paste it let me remove these lines again all right so this is particular code that belongs to egs that is not belongs to html so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to wrap it within the egs syntax all right and that is not data dot people if i go to my peoples we know that this is the peoples uh, let's change it peoples and again wrap this code in the egs syntax as well all right i'm going to comment this line and we have the item and rather than showing the item first name and last name with this syntax and this is the syntax of uh, express i'm going to use this syntax in order to show the values uh, that is the first name and the last name okay let me first show the email using the syntax of so let's use this equals to percentage and i will use item dot email okay so let's save it let's go to people dot ejs and save uh, actually this is actually both the files have same name uh, it might be confusing for you this is not this is the people that is inside the partial and this people's is actually the view okay so let's go to our browser and reload so you can see that uh, we have loaded the emails in the form of the list and this is actually showing because it's written right here okay let's go to our browser and reload and you can see all the emails of particular people are being loaded okay and this is our home and it is showing this uh, text and if I go to people it is showing all the people the emails because uh, we have just shown the emails of the people uh, let me uncomment it and wrap the first name item like this let's add the space and add it again right here for the last name so let's save it let's go to our browser and reload it it should show the name of the people this is the name and this is the email now let's go and uncomment it and let's wrap it within this egs syntax uh not right here but right here where i i need to fetch the data from a variable and i need to end it uh not cut copy and paste it okay and same for this alt for the alt i need to use this thing and end it like this so let's save it and let's go to our browser and reload it it should show the images so guys you can see that uh, in the people's route uh, we have uh, these people's and in the home we have this sportsman welcome all right so i hope that you have got the idea how to create partial and the partial uh, are the ways in order to separate the content of each route okay uh, if you don't have um, if you have any question or any confusion related to what you have done uh, make sure you comment below i will answer your questions and thanks for watching if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this channel see you in the next video thanks